Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So I cannot believe that it's almost like August is almost over with. I mean, we're sitting here, we're, yeah, the last two weeks of August. It's crazy. So as far as the fishing goes, right now through the end of September, uh, spend some time targeting large vermilion snappers and yellow white snappers okay those fish are in and as far as where to target those fish anywhere between like 220 out to 350 uh 450 zones have them and just remember that they're always here they're just they could be deep they could be shallow so like i said if you're not finding them in that that zone and it's nice and the currents you know fairly uh, doable go out and start dropping in that 450 zone out there uh, inside of the island rata hump is a great place to target um, big vermeans and also too right on the hump that hump area there's lots of giant vermeans and yellow eyes there and then you can you know it's an awesome area to fish so big yellow eyes on the island rata hump big 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 uh okay so as far as targeting the large vermeian snappers guys i'm gonna like i cannot preach this enough is go with a, a longer leader of uh, 10, 10 foot, 15 foot, smaller pieces of bait, and that's going to put you on some jumbo size vermilion snappers, okay? On those wrecks when they're not biting, and you really want to sort through all the small shit if they're not, when they quit biting on the chicken rigs, go to the longer leaders and you will catch them. Uh, as far as the bait goes, bait's really important when it comes to catching these jumbo size vermies. Uh, we're talking about four to five pound fish. Sorting through all those little those little runts with no meat on them, and it's just like oh, that you catch on the chicken rigs. You're gonna see a huge difference going one at a time. And guys, you're only allowed five remains anyways. So I mean, I have one typically. I I have one or two anglers, so <laughs> I would. And I'm looking for big fish. And not to mention when you go with a longer leader, that puts you like in the position to catch beautiful like red groupers when they show up in numbers like nice legal size mutton snappers the big yellow eye snappers the big yellow eye snappers that i've been catching lately i've been catching on on long leaders okay long leaders for them while i'm looking for um jumbo vermies and they're just mixed in so yeah give it a shot and if you guys are if, and the guys that are doing it are, are doing very well that are actually listening to the podcast and applying it and you can do this out in the deeper water as well for big um, big snowy groupers okay and one way that you guys can probe that bottom out in like 450 looking for big snowies as a longer leader so on lighter current days you can fish those snowy groupers like you would fish mutton snappers with a longer leader I, all you need is like 15 foot a long leader mutton crusher rig and then a modified uh, modify your your um your weight as far as what you're using as as a weight okay so for myself when i'm fishing for snowies in like 450 i like to u utilize the tile fish rig so i use like a long i have a modified rig for that basically i'm using a mutton crusher rig and and what I'm using for weight just depends on the current. As far as my braid goes, I'm using like 20 pound, 30 pound braid, and then I'm, that's all I need. And what that does, it gets you down to the bottom very quickly. It's similar to slow pitch jigging. So you know, the slow pitch jig guys are using 20 pound braid, and in order to fish in those depths of 750. So and then you've got the crusher rig on there, which is lethal. So when you're fishing for like big um, tile fish out there, uh, I fish for you fish for the snowies the same way and the rock. So you, you you know you just have to adjust your your weight based on the current that you're fishing and all that good stuff. Sometimes you can get away with a lot lighter weight than you think that you need out in that deeper water. I try to use 20 ounces if I can, but if it, if the current's ripping, you really got to step it up and. The, the balloon fisher king clip does an amazing job with heavier leads so uh, they make a heavy clip and they make a, a lighter clip as well so the heavy clip i use for like um, weights of five pounds so then i attach that to the clip and then i attach it to the crusher rig uh does not do well um 
like attaching it to braid or anything like that because it'll like it just wrecks it. But anyways, so I use a longer leader and I'm just drifting that bottom, okay? And the snowies are are in that 450 zone. They're in this like that 650 zone outside those humps. Like if you're fishing, for example, the um, the west hump for snowies, okay? So you're fishing the west hump for snowies and you use a longer leader 15 foot leader it's similar to a tile fish rig it's a modified tile fish rig so then you just you know think about it like that instead you're not using that wire bar that they use for tile fish and you're just using the mutton crusher rig instead with a heavier weight uh, with a um, heavy pressure balloon fish or king clip and then when you get bit you know but from a big snow you really like Man, I'm I'm I, I want to sacrifice that weight because that makes the fish come up really nice, and yeah, I, I'd rather have a breakaway to be honest with you. That way, I don't have to like fight that weight as well. So, guys, I just gave you guys a few ideas. Have fun with it. There's there's no right or wrong wrong way out there. Just just do it. And have fun with it. Modify it. That's how great ideas are made. So, yeah. Uh, I've got one more exciting thing to talk about, and that is live bait fishing. Okay, so live bait fishing is coming up, and I highly, especially right now in Boynton Beach, uh, Pompano Beach, I would be getting a hold of some goggle eyes and sending those babies deep, getting out there early in the morning, because the wahoo up there are going to really start plowing through, and and the guys that fish the kayaks, they always seem to do very well on the Wahoo in August, late August, they're coming up here, and, and in September. And they use live goggle eyes, okay, with stinger rigs. And they catch these fish consistently, okay? Now, with live bait fishing comes the work of the stinger rig. And everybody I know, like, oh, God, I got to make stinger rigs, and oh, my God. And let's face it, with I know a lot of my clients have kids. They don't they have like they when they get home they gotta get their kids to the to baseball practice, football practice, volleyball practice, dance practice, or they got traveling teams and all that other like stuff that goes with having a having um having young kids in sports and then all the other like soccer and like all the other activities that are going on for the kids. And I know that the, that they're hustling them around or some guys are working nights and they like they're sleeping all day. So let's face it, there's not a lot of time to sit and make and make stinger rigs, live bait rigs, okay? So and I would honestly never buy a live bait rig off of any website. Honestly, I would not. Even if it's been promoted on YouTube by someone, I would not buy it, okay? Um, because somebody else that you don't know, it could be some guy, he just wants to decide to start making his own stinger rigs and putting them out there. And listen, uh, I'm going to trust somebody that has tournament wins to make my stinger rigs. And How You Reel and Tackle has been kind of the like underground tackle company up uh you know, in South Florida, out of Fort Lauderdale. And Eric, the owner of How You Reel and Tackle, this guy grinds on making stinger rigs. He is like, he is the, in my opinion, is the makes the absolute best stinger rigs available today. And guys, they're the best because all the SKA teams that are winning tournaments, a lot of these guys are buying them from Eric. And they always have. Eric's been around for a long time, and he's a tournament guy. He fishes, they fishes all the Meat Mayhem tournaments. Uh, and then now he's got one hell of a business with all the tournament guys buying the rigs from him. Okay? So I'm stoked because when I'm in a pinch, now I can order my stinger rigs online from Eric. I can just like get online, and it's how you reel and tackle. I'm going to give you the website right now in the spelling, okay? So the the website is how h o w y a y a reelin r e e l i n dot com. Again, that's h o w y a r e e l i n dot com. How you reel and tackle, okay? And then when you go to his site, um, his website. 
which is awesome. Uh, you just go through and you're looking for um, bait, go to bait fishing. He's got all these other things on here. I'm sorry, not bait fishing, but go to um, custom rigs. And then you have the live bait, the live bait rigs. And man, you can buy a, like a, a pack of stinger rigs, like titanium rigs, okay? Which is, th those are things that are a bitch to make. Because <laughs> I know, because I've got to sit down and make a bunch myself. But you can order a 10-pack of titanium rigs for uh, $90. That's, I'm sorry, a, ten, a titanium rig 10-pack for 10 uh, uh, ten packs for um, for ninety bucks. So I mean, then you've got wire and titanium. Like man, I'm really like you can use number. He's got all different. Um, I'm looking at the site right now. Uh, you can buy some number six mainland uh, main wire traces. Yeah, super stoked, man. And also, too, for you guys that are up there in Fort Lauderdale area, he has now got a location. So you can go to like you can go to a store up there in Fort Lauderdale. So the he's got the address. It's on um, it's four four zero seven North Federal Highway, Fort Lauderdale, Florida uh, three three zero eight. Okay, and then his number is nine five four five three four three nine four three. And he's also got his email on there. So on the on the website as well, guys. This is where you need to buy all of your stinger rig. So there you go. Guys, that's all the time I have for today. I will be putting out another podcast here with a special announcement this week. Uh, if you are looking to book a charter with me to go do some Wahoo fishing, I highly suggest you get that charter booked because the days are filling up. So yeah, what I'm going to be targeting, I don't know. It just depends on the conditions. Really, um, really in the months of September, I like to look for large black fin tunas on the troll. Uh, I don't like to do much jigging for them because there's just a lot of sharks and down here in, in, the, in the fall. And, you know, you might catch one on the jig and then the rest of them get sharked up. So I don't specifically like to do much jigging in September. So just because we have a sh the shark migration is down here and there's just a lot of them. So anyways, uh, with that being said, I catch, I like to, I like to troll for large black fin tunas, uh, mixed in with those would be an occasional Wahoo and all that other fun stuff that goes with that. Maybe put some surface baits out, catch an occasional dolphin, you know, who knows, uh, on the reef I'm fishing for, um, my favorite black, uh, black groupers. That, that's my, I just love the fish for large black groupers. So that's all I got. Uh, follow me on Instagram, good karma sport fishing underscore FL underscore keys. And I often am getting asked now, how can I support your podcast? Because podcasting is a lot different than YouTube. Uh, YouTube, you know, they're like, they're getting like it's clicks and all that stuff. Payments. It's weird. I don't know, but it's so flooded. The markets, YouTube's so flooded with data. And so I really appreciate the guys that are listening because, you know, since you're listening, I give you guys actual tips that actually work. I don't get paid per click and... So just let you guys know that. So if you really want to support my channel and keep the good content coming, uh, you can buy a course through goodkarmafishingtackle.com and then um, occasionally just book a charter with me. It's awesome. I've met some awesome people that have li that listened to the podcast that are now over the years that I have in my rigging group. Uh, if you're really wanting to take it to the next level and get to know um, like more about Florida Keys fishing, and all the little secrets or some little secrets that I teach in the Good Karma Sport Fishing Rigging Crew. Uh, you can, the cost to join my private group is, and that's once a month, I do a seminar and that's $49 a month. And with that, you will get uh, into the private Facebook group. And then you will, uh, we're, oh, we're also creating the Marco Polo um, as far as, the, um, so you're going to see some stuff happening on the water as well as actual fishing reports um, as they happen. So that's coming up here soon with the rigging crew only. So if you want to join the rigging crew, you can email me at goodkarmaryan at gmail.com. Uh, the meetings are recorded. So if you can't make a meeting, you can watch it um, at a later date. And then you'll have access to the Facebook group and the real-time Marco Polo fishing reports um, as we get into that. We're still building that, and that'll probably happen here um, fairly soon, actually. I can't put a date on probably within the next, next week. So that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, that's all I got. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good. Thanks, guys.